it's Michelle here and this is the makeup look I'm doing for you guys today. So this look is a fun, bright, colorful makeup look. This is actually a look that I did on someone else. So I did this look on a customer on the weekend when I was at work and she wanted to do um, bright yellows and blues and hot pink lips. So yeah, the look is the look that I did on myself is somewhat similar. However, hers was a lot different. Um, I thought it looked I thought the look looked better on her actually so this is the look I wanted to recreate it on myself so you guys can see it now if you'd like to see how I complete this look keep on watching to begin we're gonna apply our eye primer to our eyelid and this is just gonna prevent the eyeshadow from creasing up and it's gonna last longer throughout the day and like always I'm using urban decay primer potion so I use my finger to apply this all over the eyelids now because I'm working with such bright colors I'm going to apply NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and this is just going to help to make that eyeshadow color more vibrant because the yellow eyeshadow that I have it's not very vibrant on its own so I do have to add a white base to it just to help the color more vibrant and I find that when you use the um, NYX pencils it's good to use a primer underneath it because these um, Jumbo Pencil can be a bit creasy and I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out Taking an oval blender brush, I'm going to apply this bright yellow eyeshadow, and this one is by Makeup Forever. Now you can go ahead and use any bright yellow eyeshadow you have. So I'm going to be going ahead and I'm going to apply this on my eyelids. And I'm going to apply this in a padding motion, and this will help the color to be more vibrant. Next, I'm just going to take my 217 brush and I'm going to just blend out any hard edges. Okay, so the next eyeshadow I'm going to apply is uh, Sketch by MAC. So it's like a purpley brown eyeshadow. I'm going to place this above the crease with a 224 blending brush. And we're just going to be blending this back and forth with windshield wiper motion. Okay, so as you can see on this side, I have a black, I have black eyeshadow on the outer corner of the eye and I was supposed to actually apply that first before I applied the crease color, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm using a black eye pencil and you want to use one that's um, easy to blend with. So eye coal would be really good. So I'm kind of creating like a wing on the outer corner of the eye. Just like that. And don't worry if it's not like perfect right now because we're going to go over that with eyeshadow. And you also want to take this into the crease as well. I'm just going to wing that out some more. Just like that. So that's the shape that we want. Okay, so next I'm going to use a pencil brush just to start smudging this out. Next, you're going to go ahead and apply any matte black eyeshadow you have. I'm using some carbon. And I'm just going to place this on top of the liner. By applying the liner, it's going to make that um, eyeshadow look more black and it's just going to look more intense. So I'm going to add some of that carbon to my 2 and 7 brush and I'm just going to start blending that. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and reapply that yellow eyeshadow. Now we're going to go back into the eyeshadow um, sketch by MAC with a 224 blending brush and we're going to apply this above the black. So just like that, I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, so for this look, um, I use a lot of um, matte eyeshadow, so I want to add some shimmer to my brow bone area. So to highlight the brows, I'm going to go into my BH120 palette, and I'm going to use the shimmery 
um, champagne shade eyeshadow right here. So I start off by placing this at the highest point of my brow bone. And I'm just going to pull that down as well. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is go into my liner. And I'm using a gel liner. And this one is Black Track Fluid Line. So you can use any um, liquid liner or gel liner, whatever your preference is. And I'm using an angle brush to apply. Start where you see that line already is. So I'm just applying the black gel liner over that. Now we're not going to be weighing that, however I'm going to pull that black into the eyeshadow. Now as you can see I have some blue eyeshadow at the bottom on the bottom lash line. So what I'm going to do is use a blue eye pencil and this one is by Annabelle and this is a Canadian drugstore brand product. So I'm applying this in my waterline like that and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and smudge that out just a little next what I'm going to do is apply this beautiful eyeshadow and this one is a limited product and this is Zingy by MAC it's such a beautiful blue um, the closest eyeshadow I can think of to this would be Electric Eel, even though I think this one's a lot brighter. So you can use um, any bright blue eyeshadow that you have. So I'm just going to place this on my bottom lash line. So next I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline and I'm using a black eye pencil and I'm also going to be doing a bit of tight lining as well. Okay, so for this look, I really want to have long, full lashes. For some reason, they don't look that full on camera, but they're really long. So I'm using number 218, and these are my eyelashes. So I'm going to apply these falsies off camera, and I will be right back. So I've applied my falsies, and I'm just going to go ahead and add some mascara to them. I'm using the foundation powder that is two shades darker than my skin tone for my contour. And I'm going to apply this in the hollows of my cheek and I'm going to apply this in a C light motion and I'm using a contour brush. So I start off at the temple area and kind of like I'm making a C. So just like that. Next I'm going to go into my blush palette and I want a very neutral shade blush. I don't want anything too bright. So I'm using um, this blush right here. It's very neutral skin tone shade, nothing too bright. And I'm going to lightly apply this on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm going to use um, magenta lip pencil first to line my lips. And it's like a purpley um, pink, it's like a purpley pink pencil. So I'm going to line my lips with that. So next I'm going to use this hot pink bright neon lipstick by MAC and this is Dear Diary. It came out with the Back Ditto collection that came out I think a month ago. So yeah, um, you can go ahead and use any bright pink lipstick. 